Everybody needs to be friendly. Friendly. Everybody needs to be 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 friendly. Everybody needs to
up, I don't want even look right. I just hit the woman of my dreams with another. another. I didn't scratch 10 million off my foot. We are right into this song. No I see the stand behind me, I swear I love this. Building up for my kids, 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 I ain't gonna never quit. Investing my money and I'll touch you. On a ship, on a ship, on a ship, on a ship. Where you just growing up for the season? Zach Bryan concert in two weeks. We the best music. Take it. I thought you were going to the Thursday night football. I thought you were going to Thursday night football. Take it too hard. I knew it was the same night. We the best music. Another, 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 another. DJ KK. Scratch a million off my checklist three years ago. At two zero two, I'm in a different mode. What I said is, I put my life in the way. I showed her a picture of you, and I said, this is what I want to get like. We got a minute and a half until showtime. Heard where you at? Make some noise one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would never step foot in the super car. I want the biggest watch they got. I don't care if that kid hurt my wrist. All these groups are through my soul. I wish I would play now. I would play now. I would play now. We got a minute. Hey, Tony, what do you know about this, man? Pump it up. Pump it up. Pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know? That's what I like to hear. Where you at, Herd? Where the real Rams at? Make some noise. Let's go. Tell me when, Casey. 30 seconds. We've been to a lot of schools this season. That was the best pump it up. Give yourself some noise right now. Launching towards the end zone. He's got Simpkins caught in for the touchdown. Deshaun Simpkins with the snag. Looking up to Sims Marshall. Home run! Down for Jalen Marshall! He's got a touchdown! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Ross High School. Look at the student section behind us. Look at the student section behind us. Wow. wow. Look at this. Just wow. look at this. We might want to let DJ E Train just keep playing for the next 30 minutes. Yeah, this was actually DJ E Train's statue night. Where yes. They were giving it out. I was looking for it. Announcing his Hall of Fame candidacy. I mean, this is impressive. Right. DJ E Train Hall of Fame induction night tonight. DJ E Train, a, a proud Ross alum. We got Tony Pike here, Paul Fritchner here. It's Reed Mouse over here to my left, and it is another beautiful night. This is week five at Chatterbox Sports Game Day, and it's been the same weather all five weeks. Beautiful night for Friday night football. It's the Battle of the Rams, and it's also the Reed Mouse Bowl here tonight, Reed. I, I wouldn't call wow. it that. It has nothing to do with that, but you're right. We have had great weather. It never rains on Tony. I no, mean, no, no. Look no, at that no. hair. It is perfectly manicured. <laughs> it, it's, it never gets bad weather. Reed Mouse, you had a Ross Rams shirt on all day long, and now you take it off for a Chatterbox Sports. Is that a sign of things to come tonight? Well, no. I had to be a little unbiased. I was wearing my Ross shirt because it's very comfy. I mean, yeah. it's a great shirt. Look I just, great. You look right, great in the maroon. The maroon and gold looks really, really nice on me. I, I mean, the picks are later to come, but we can't go into the game. I will say this, this crowd. This crowd is unbelievable. It's certainly something. Yeah. I wouldn't call it unbelievable. It's certainly something. Wow. <laughs> oh. All yeah. right. Starting off hot. Tony, uh, this is a Ross team at 2-2 two and two on the year. Baden undefeated coming into this game. Yeah. And the best team in Division Three in the state right now. Can Baden leave this stadium with a win tonight? Or will Ross hand Baden their first loss of the season? I mean, it, it really is. It's, as Reed knows about these rivalry games. What is it, Reed? Yeah. 
Well, no, you actually said that. You, you take the, the record book. Yeah, you just throw it out. Throw it right out of there. Right out the no, window. This, uh, look, this is a Ross team that, that returns a lot from a, a very good team last year. Uh, both linebackers are going to be guys that are going to fly all over the field. Anytime you have 100 tackles in a season, mm-hmm. you're doing work. But for Baden, you lose a bunch mm-hmm. off of a state championship runner-up team, but now it's about reloading. And we've seen at every level the best programs are the one that year in and year out can graduate guys and then still be back at the top. That's what Baden has been. That's what Ross is trying to get to as they go to D2 now, which is a, a whole other animal. But certainly when, when you get these two teams on the field, when you – you grow up close to each other. A lot of these guys played against each other or sure. with each other growing up. So it just instills that rivalry as you get older and it, it clashes now in high school. Two and a half hours from now, Reed Mouse, what are we talking about if Ross can win this game tonight? I mean, we're talking about how well they controlled the game, right? I mean, it's no secret what they like to do. Ever since Coach Cummins has come here, they like to run the ball. Triple option, that's what they stick to. That's their bread and butter. They want to control the game. They want to limit possessions. Yeah. And they want to keep it a low-scoring game and, and win on this, you know, 17-14 kind of atmosphere. Keep it nice, low and score, muddy up the game a little bit, but come out and just control the clock tonight. Baiting at 4-0, and what are they going to do tonight, Tony, if they look to keep this undefeated season going? Whenever you play a team that runs this type of running attack and you just have to walk right behind the stage back here to see all the signs, right, right. run the ball, <laughs> pancake, up front, they, they want to dominate the line of scrimmage. And when you're a team trying to defend that, you start to count possessions if they're controlling the clock, and you put more pressure on your offense. So for Baden, if you win on first and second down and you make a team that doesn't want to throw the ball be Mm one-dimensional and get the ball back to an explosive offense, you have a great opportunity to win, but it's about controlling first and second down against a run-heavy team. You know the green and white just about as well as anybody, Reed. So how do they keep Mm. this machine rolling? Well, you know, Ever since Coach Yorty took it over, it's been a fantastic program. I think since week three of 2019, there's something like 26-1 and one in the regular season. Yeah. So they've got, got things moving, got it going. Um, also in 2019, that was when Ross won this rivalry game. So a few years ago, that was back in week one. But, you know, last year, Ross's defense, and that's the pride of this team, is yeah. their defense. You already mentioned the linebackers. They threw kind of a wrench at, at Baden. They, they gave it a 3-3 sack, 3-3-5, and really threw something that Baden has never seen before. And it was a low-scoring game, 21-10, a, a nice close game. But now Baden's been able to watch the film. They, they, they've seen it before. This has been the Ross defensive identity, so they know what they're doing coming into this game. And they can have a better game plan about what you're going to see tonight. Alex Ritzy's going to be the quarterback. He had great experience in yeah. the postseason last year. Um, it's going to be going. When you just look from a stat standpoint, at a linebacker that has 101 tackles and another one that has 77. That tells me that they're very gifted players, but it also tells me the guys in front of them are doing their job Mm -hmm. because it's allowing those linebackers to get to that level and make those tackles without having to shed a block. So if the guys up front do their job, the linebackers get to shine like they did last year, you're certainly going to have to do that against this Baden offense. Yeah, no doubt about it. Ross only has one win in this rivalry, but as you mentioned, Reed, it was the first game that Chatterbox Sports ever broadcasted right. wow. back in 2019. Were you guys on the call for that? Were you on the call for that? Tony didn't know about Chatterbox Sports. He was doing okay. other things. Yeah, he was in yeah, the, yeah. The, big, the big brands. He right, was coming back right. down. He slums it down now at Chatterbox Sports. I've been to the Sports. barn before. You had, yeah, I've been in last, the barn. Last year, that's yeah. the best press box around. I think it was me and Trey Easily. Fowler was on that call back in 2019. <laughs> We're all going to be nice and cozy up there up there later tonight. Well, it's intimate. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to step away. We're going to take a break. we got trivia on the other side of this. Then on the other side of that, we have our picks for tonight's game. It's a great night for Beautiful. high school fo- for Beautiful. football here in uh, A lot in of Ohio. good games. Yeah, going a lot, on of, good, in a lot of good games in, in Cincinnati. So we're going to step away, take a break. This is the Chatterbox Sports Game Day Show presented by Jake Sweeney. We'll be right back. To use vehicles weekly. All makes, all models. From economy to luxury, Jake Sweeney, the original used car superstore. Jake I'm, 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 hold on, I'm coming. You didn't tell me you were getting McDonald's. The steak, egg, and cheese bagel is back at McDonald's. Order ahead on the app and pick up curbside. Where can you turn when you're in pain? Turn where more high school, college, and pro athletes turn. Where your neighbors and weekend warriors turn. Turn to Beacon Orthopedics and Sports Medicine and get superior care on your schedule. That's the Beacon difference.
If your AC or furnace is struggling, turn to the experts at Bartels Heating and Cooling. Their certified technicians get the job done right the first time. And if you need a new unit, Bartels will give you upfront pricing with no hidden fees. Plus, ask about Bartels 0% interest financing for 60 months. Learn more at BartelsHeatingAndCooling.com. Bartels Heating and Cooling, for a comfortable way of life. Eli's Sports Bar and Grill, proudly sponsoring high school football with three locations in Mason, Liberty Township, and Ross, Ohio. Our 10-foot screens guarantee a great view from every seat in the house. Eli's Sports Bar and Grill, the best place in Cincinnati for sports, food, and fun. Located in the heart of Hamilton, Ohio, Revive Salon's clients continuously leave satisfied. Our experienced stylists offer modern color services and treatment for your hair needs. Located at 142 Riverfront Plaza, come in and check us out today or book your appointment at revivesalon.biz. All right, everybody, E-Train back here with Chatterbox Live. We've got Libby. Make some noise for Libby right now. We got a special trivia question for Libby. She said she's feeling confident, so here we go. Let's see what that question is right up there on that board. Who is this player? Wayne Grunsky. So she said Wayne Grunsky, which is incorrect, but I'll give it to her because it's Wayne Gresky. Gresky, not Grunsky, but that's good. Next question. What is this show? Cheers. Cheers, correct. What is this movie? Goonies. Goonies, Goonies. Correct. Who is this person? Please know this. Biggie! Big Papa. What is this object? Bager. She said Bager, so a beeper and a pager, so yes, we'll give it to her. She said Bager. It's all right, that was good. So that is the last question. She aced all of them. Make some noise right now for Ruby. Big shout out to Libby hanging out with us here. We got a special shirt for her. Compliments of Penn Station and Chatterbox Sports. Make sure you follow us at Chatterbox Sports. And once again, congratulations, Libby. I'm going to toss it back to the booth. All right, we're going to step away. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we have a guest picker. We're going to make our picks for Southwest Ohio's high school sports action tonight. This is the Chatterbox Sports Game Day Show presented by Jake Sweeney. If your AC or furnace is struggling, turn to the experts at Bartels Heating and Cooling. Their certified technicians get the job done right the first time. And if you need a new unit, Bartels will give you upfront pricing with no hidden fees. Plus, ask about Bartels 0% interest financing for 60 months. Learn more at BartelsHeatingAndCooling.com. Bartels Heating and Cooling, for a comfortable way of life. Eli's Sports Bar and Grill, proudly sponsoring high school football with three locations in Mason, Liberty Township, and Ross, Ohio. Our 10-foot screens guarantee a great view from every seat in the house. Eli's Sports Bar and Grill, the best place in Cincinnati for sports, food, and fun. Located in the heart of Hamilton, Ohio, Revive Salon's clients continuously leave satisfied. Our experienced stylists offer modern color services and treatment for your hair needs. Located at 142 Riverfront Plaza, come in and check us out today or book your appointment at revivesalon.biz. Welcome back to the Chatterbox Sports Game Day Show presented by Jake Sweeney. It is time to make some picks for high school football action around Southwest Ohio. We're joined now by Rocky Staten from Headlines. Rocky, thanks for joining us tonight on a beautiful night for football. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. What a great crowd. Look at this crowd. Look at, this Look at crowd. the student Look section. Look at this. Man, wow. Awfully quiet. Man. Man. Awfully quiet. Yeah. Nervous. I mean, quiet. it's like it's a nervous energy. energy. I think it's because E-Train is doing a bad job at pumping them up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We got E-Train here. We got Rocky here. The four of you guys are going to make your picks, and we are going to start with a real big one across not just this area, but the state, Lakota West and Princeton. Tony? I think Princeton's the best team that nobody talks about. Uh, this offense was 71-63 this year. I think they can score against anybody, but you're truly going to get to see how good that Lakota West secondary is. I think Mitch Bolton has enough to get Lakota West by in a close game against Princeton. Rocky? 
Well, I know Princeton's been putting up a lot of points, you know, 71 points against East. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I can't go against my boy, Coach Bolton, in no. the West. Uh, <laughs> they, I, just, I just can't Loyalty. Do it. Loyalty. Loyalty. You are is. a loyal man. It's West. <laughs> Eddie. We started out our uh, tour this year at Lakota West. The energy was unreal. That game was amazing. Lakota West holding it down and coming back at the end. You don't. You always bet on Bolton. You bet on Bolton, man. man. Taking Bolton to Dakota West. Dakota West, Reed, West, and Princeton. I mean, you guys wax poetically about all the good points there. It was the Lakota West Firebirds are clearly going to come out with this win. Give me the Firebirds. Mm. Moeller and St. X, another good one tonight. Moeller, one of the best teams, not just in the area, but in the state, Tony. We saw St. X week one, and I think they've gotten better each week. I don't think Moeller's just one of the best teams in the state. I think they're one of the best in the country. I think they're legit a top 20 nationwide team this year. Moeller, for all those years that Sanex bullied and beat him up, Moeller's going to get that back tonight. Moeller's going to win big. And they have somebody at running back you think could have quite a future. NFL type of uh, future. NFL type. That is high Sundays. praise. From Sundays. 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 Yeah. Rocky, Moeller and Sanex. No, why Moeller probably is the best team in the state. Uh, just something about a rivalry game. Uh, they're at X. Right? Hey, Tony, what do you know all, I know all you guys you are going to throw Moeller. everything out. I know you're going to pick Moeller, so guess what? Give me X. Oh, That's right. He, long he's taking the line. record book and he's thrown it out. The long blue line. The long blue line. I easily have the most logical answer to this. Moeller wears Jordan brand. Jordan is the best basketball player of all time. Give me Moeller all day long. Barrett Cohen, what's going on? <laughs> Moeller Crusaders. Jordan's like the Alan Jackson of music. He said Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. Yes. Clearly, you don't know your Ross history. Randy Smith is the greatest basketball <laughs> player baby, of all 1980. time. 1980. State 1980 champs. state champs. The Ross Rams here. I've been to Eli's. I've seen the picture. As for this, Tony, don't you have family that went to St. X? Occasionally. Yeah, well, give me Moeller then. That's just a <laughs> principal pick. Uh, one close to home. Tony, Redding and Wyoming. Uh, we don't even say Wyoming at this table. It's the W Wyoming. school. Wyoming. It's the Wyoming. W school. For years, the CHL has went through Wyoming. Redding was the original long blue line. I don't know if you knew that about uh, Redding, but it's not saying X. Redding goes on the road tonight, and they beat Wyoming. There it is. There it is. Did they get it done, Rocky? I'm sorry, Tony. I, I mean, I did a little research here. Yeah. Uh, Wyoming, Doesn't take much. Wyoming has only given up seven points this whole season, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, so I got to go with the Cowboys. Fair. Sorry. Eddie? Reading is home to the second best dive bar, small town bar, Auggies. Oh, the my home goodness. of the best small town dive bar is oh. right here in Ross, Big Bulls. I don't know where I was going with that, but I'll take Eddie's I, doing his research, I, I man. Ready. Right. And I'll take Auggies. Give me ready. Well, he needs to do his chatterbox research because I'll tell you right now, Eli's is our sponsor here. I mean, we don't, we don't get anything from Big Bull, so you just got to say that. You let me say what I was going to say after that. Oh, shout out Eli's. Big okay. shout out to Eli's Sports Bar. Yeah. Me. Right. There you there go. You, there it is. Well, you know, I, there was a guy who played a long time ago at Reading. His name's Tony Pike, and he's just the best. I mean, an All-American. He's just one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. So I have to go with the Reading Blue Devils just because Tony. Wow. Was there. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Chemistry I'm in the booth tonight. waiting for the punchline here. I'm waiting. <laughs> no, no, no. That was it? Well, chemistry in the booth. I never you take. Thank you. Two Thank more, you, Eddie. Two more tonight. Milford and Kings. Who you got? I love this Kings offense. I think Kings can put up a lot of points. I think Kings wins this one going away tonight. Rocky? So, listen, we got two high-powered offenses, obviously, putting up a lot of points. At the end of the day, I got to go with our uh, the Milford Eagles since that – Yes. You know, yeah. Woo! We were at headlines. Milford two weeks headlines. ago. We've got to get on the same page. <laughs> I always bet on them. They put up a lot of points. They're in my backyard. Give me the Kings Knights. I'll tell you what, E-Train, you know, you have a lot of pride from being from Ross, but you moved out the first chance you got. I mean, you wow. went out to the Kings. <laughs> oh, sell out or you can yeah, sell out? What I like to say is the Kings area is like the uh, the Ross of the uh, Northeast. Okay. You Ross. guys you guys were hugging before this. Great home values. He called me pumpkin today on Instagram. Great home values, great schools. Right. So well, I have Tom Grip is back on the sideline. Oh. So give me the Milford Eagles because I think they're going to pull one off. I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. Give me the Eagles. And now for the reason we are here tonight, Ross and Baden. Let's get it started. Tony, does Ross and Baden their first loss of the season, or does Baden keep it rolling? It does not get any better than this type of atmosphere on a Friday night in Ohio. Ross has showed up. They are hungry for a win in this game, and yes. it's hard for me because I just listened to, to oh. E-Train. He just picked my Reading Blue Devils, but me picking against Braden Moore, a future Cincinnati Bearcats, is just oh. sacrilegious. I've got to take Braden Moore. I've got to take uh, the Baden Rams. One for Baden. One for Baden. What? 
What? <laughs> Just wait. It'll, it'll come. Oh, it'll my come gosh. Right Rocky. Yeah. You know, you I'm, I'm with Tony here. Um, Baby oh. has got athletes all over the field. Um, you know, I think it might be close due to the home crowd atmosphere. Yeah. This is a hostile environment. But at the end of the day, Coach Jordy and the Baden Rams are, are going to take the W. Where's so the chain? That's two for Baden. Right we do have a chain right there in the crowd. Right, there, crowd. The chain? right oh. there in the crowd. Eddie, as a, uh, a proud Ross Ram alum, who do you have tonight? You're going to sit there and truly ask me, and really ask me who I think is going to win. I am. Who I'm going to take between take those the Rams and the real Rams. <laughs> who do you think I'll pick it tonight? Heck yes. Heck yes, Eddie. Yeah. Woo! All right, Eddie. Woo! Keep that going. Now, baby. <laughs> Woo! And you better stand oh. by me, baby boy. Oh, my God. Come on, baby How boy. How can I say no, no, no to this crowd? Look at that. They were so entertaining. Look what I got right here. I didn't put it away. Oh. The raw shirt, the maroon raw shirt is right here. But guess what, guys? Oh, oh. 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 no. I can't even cut oh, it. Oh, no. Just, oh, no. 17 and 1, guys. To be a rivalry game, you have to oh, win man. one every once in a while. <laughs> I think there's some trophy that the art teacher made, and she hasn't seen it since the day she made it. It's been over <laughs> at Baden. Of course the Baden Rams are going to win this one. Can we this mute one. his channel? Can we wow. mute his channel? Oh, my man. goodness. You well, got a way to scissors it out? I, I didn't cut it. So no, I, I, you tried to. I tried real hard. You we need sharper it. scissors. It has a little character to it now. Right. That's the best piece of, piece of clothing you've got in your closet because I've seen your closet read. <laughs> it's not good. That's the best piece you got, buddy. I know. Reed, We're in you Ross got, Country, baby. We're in Ross Country. We are in Ross Country. And it's time for kickoff, so we're going to step away. We're going to go to the booth. This has been the Chatterbox Sports Game Day Show. Hey, crowd, let's give it one more time. Let's get it one more time. Yeah, keep let's cheering. Get it one more time. This will be the last time you'll cheer the entire game. <laughs> it's going to get real quiet in a hurry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> At least it's going to be a running clock. We'll get out of here early. You guys can do whatever you want to do on Friday night. You're calling this game, Reed. Oh, I'm biased. I'm unbiased. <laughs> this has been the Chatterbox Sports Game Day Show presented by Jake Sweeney. We'll see you all next Friday night. Love it, man.